In this week's Enduro Riding Tip, we're going to talk about controlling your bike when you're standing up. In our Enduro classes, we get a lot of questions from people asking us when to sit down and when to stand up when you're trail riding. We're going to have a video where we talk about the, the transfer from sitting to standing. In today's video, we want to talk about standing. And you'll see in these upcoming clips, I'm riding the entire trail standing up controlling the bike mainly with my feet and my lower legs. fundamental body position when riding off-road is to ride on the balls of your feet, drop your heels, grip the bike with your lower legs and your knees, your chest is forward and your arms are more or less relaxed. You don't want to hold on too tight, especially on a tight trail if you're trying to muscle the bike around. Very ineffective, you're pumping up really quick, it's hard to kind of control the bike, get it to where you want to go without making any big mistakes. So you can see in this shot, this is the position where you want to be in balls of your feet, you're dropping your heels, right? So now you have control in your ankles. So if you want to steer the bike one way or another, instead of moving your whole body around, you just drop one heel a little bit more and the bike will react. If I want to go to the right, I drop the right heel. If I want to go to the left, I drop the left heel. You turn your toes in so you have full contact with the bike, lower frame all the way up from the first point of contact from your foot peg all the way up to your knees lower legs you're able to control the bike you can grip the bike so that allows you to loosen the grip up on the handlebars because all the control is down low Second really important thing when you're standing up on a trail like this, you need to look ahead. Look far enough to head so you can read the terrain, so you can be ready, you can adjust your foot position, you can adjust your body position overall, so you're not going to get in these moments where you're caught off guard by either being too far back on the bike or too far in front of the bike. Upper body, you can see in these shots, my elbows are always slightly bent, so I'm able to work with the bike, and my chest is far forward. Right on these tight trails, I want to make the rear end light, especially when it's slick and dusty like it is here today, so that I can lean forward, accelerate, and have the back end drift around a little bit. In that moment, we'll come back to the feet, I'll adjust my, my foot position, the weight, either inside, outside foot peg, depending on where I want the bike and where the bike is sliding. Same when I set myself up for these tight turns. I slide the rear end by locking, pulling in the clutch, locking the rear tire, I slide it in, chest is forward, I get back on the gas. I keep my chest forward so it doesn't pull me off the back of the bike and the entire time I'm in full control. The last thing that a lot of people come up and they say, hey, I understand the foot position. How do I brake and how do I shift? So in order to brake, obviously you need to move your foot forward. You get your braking done. And then when you're done, you move back onto the balls of your feet. You drop your heel to gain back control. Same thing on the shifting side. You get your shift done, you move your foot back, right? Most people ride on their heels with their toes pointing out. So in order to brake or shift, they have to move their foot in now we're always in full contact with the bike down here and we're just moving back and forth little movements right it's just your foot's moving your hips your upper body everything else stays square with the bike so you're in full control tiny little movements in your feet to get your braking and shifting down back in the control position and then you ride the bike from there this is it for this week's enduro riding tip if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe 
every Wednesday we have a new riding tip, motocross, enduro, adventure bikes. So we'll see you next Wednesday.